which is every video game company's layoff announcement. I was so happy to see this this morning after I'd already kind of been on this rant as well, you know. Uh, this is like basically the gamer and Mike Drucker here has has done a, a basically they're pari- parodying the 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 same thing that I've just been talking about. You know, all these layoffs all the time, they're all the same thing. They all basically convey the same vague, stupid default quote that all these companies push out and never give us any kind of definitive information about what led them to this point or what they've tried to do to take care of their company and their employees uh, amid these kinds of situations, right? So the, the title of this is Every Video Game Company's Layoff Announcement. Here at Game Company, we love our developers. That's why it was so hard to fire them. Your favorite game developer. So basically, like, enter, enter, enter any developer's name right here, right? Following an internal announcement to our employees, please see the statement below. We have made the very difficult decision to lay off our employees. We have been spending more money than we earn. Don't ask about CEO salaries. Right? And cannot sustain this business model any longer. We are confident this is the best decision for our company and you, the community. At Game Company, we've proudly made some of the greatest video games of all time for some of the greatest fans of all time. But above all else, we consider ourselves a family. A family for those who love imagination. A family for those who love adventure. A family for those who love coming together to deliver happiness and fun to gamers everywhere. It's this drive that made us the success we are today. And that's why we're laying off hundreds of people. News like this is never easy. That's why we've made our underpaid social media manager handle it before we laid them off, too. We value the work and the efforts of every member of our team, whether they be the quality assurance team we let go or the writers of our popular franchises we fired. We, couldn't, we wouldn't be where we are today as a company without these people, but since we are here today, we don't need them anymore. Expendable. Some fans might be worried this will negatively affect our games. Don't be. Our parent corporation may be famous for buying studios and hollowing them out until they are a dead husk of a brand, but we have complete assurance from them that they will continue to cancel half of our projects mid-development and not promote any of the others they do release. Meanwhile, our seven-figure earning executives who last worked on a game in 1995 will continue to overpromise to the press without any personal consequence when said game bombs. That's the way this company has worked for decades, and that's the way we think games should be made. I love this. A big Epic Games logo, too. Perfect. Rest assured, our company will still produce the same amazing game delays as we produced before. If anything, these recent layoffs will help us streamline the production process by by allowing our executives to save time by pressuring a smaller group of people. And without a serviceable quality uh, Q&A team left, Uh, quality assurance. We'll be able to get our games to you faster than ever before. You'll even get to be part of the production process by complaining about bugs, which we'll fix over the course of four years. Exciting! Of course, we do know this restructuring will be difficult for our staff, especially because we've referred to it as the first wave in the mass email that we sent to them minutes before they arrived at work. It's tough to lose friends in the workplace, but we know in our hearts that our dedicated team will be too scared to to not pick up the work of five people. Some of them are also here on work visas, which is extremely convenient when asking people to stay late. To help our team, we're uh, providing job assistance to the very people we just threw on the street. You hear this every time, too. The the assistants in this, an intern, will email about openings at other game companies for a few weeks before eventually ghosting. Those companies also just had layoffs, so there's sure to be a lot of spots available. We've promised to help feed and clothe their families with protein bars from the third floor kitchen and leftover merch shirts from PAX. It's the least we can do, and trust us, we definitely tried to see if we could legally do leaster. This was not a decision we came to lightly. Rather, our parent company came to this decision lightly. Then they told our executives who said, Okay, as fast as a human thought can travel. It's a sad reality of the video game industry that you can either pay a healthy-sized team a livable wage or you can make a good game. There's no middle ground, and somehow we think this makes sense. We believe that game teams should suffer if they want to put out a good product. 
But don't worry, none of our executives will have to stay later than 7 p.m., which they'll still call an (laughs) all-nighter. Bro, and they've got a big embracer group, too. Thank God. Two of the ones I called out before I even started reading this. We appreciate the outpouring of love and support our fans have given our coworkers, both past and present, during the time we ourselves caused. There is nothing more important to us than our fans. Unless they were fans of our company before working for us, in which case, we have obliterated any joy they derived from our games. Blizzard! At the end of the day, all we wanted to do is make video games for the biggest audience possible and then dump the staff off at the curb like the garbage we believe they are. Dude, this is one of the best articles I've r- read since uh, one of the. I think it's this one. Um, no, 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 no. Oh, bro, I've got another one. Um, there was another one I wrote read not too long ago. Um, that was really good. I, I saved it. I I put it on on YouTube and actually, uh, you know, applauded the uh, the author of it, uh, Mike Drucker. Mike. Thank you for this. Good God. This is the kind of stuff, dude, that I, I, I've been ranting about all the time um, here lately. And, it, dude, it, you captured it, my friend. God, what a great article. And, yeah, I mean, it, it's it, that's all it was was sarcasm, which is why I read it the way I read it. Because it it, it was appropriate to read it that way, right? I mean, it, it's just um, – but this is this is the case, dude, you know? Now, this is what I get, you know, I, I, I talk about this all the time. Like I said, whenever, before I even started reading this article, it's like, I've talked about this so much here lately. It's always the same stupid default quote from the company about why they needed to do this. But you don't see billionaire Tim Sweeney taking a pay cut or any of his execs taking a pay cut to try and save, you know, if they did show us, tell us, you know, give us, give us the, the, the lowdown of what you tried to do to save those employees. The, the people that made your company what it is, that got you to where you're at. They don't care, dude. They don't care. This is, this is the man crushing, you know, uh, everybody else. The, the machine, the machine, the crushing machine, dude, just absolutely obliterating uh everybody else in the world you know it's just constantly a vice dude um and this is the way it works and this is what i think of every single time i see these articles uh coming out about another developer laying off employees another developer laying off employees and it's usually a mass layoff you know Fine. Businesses struggle sometimes. Okay. Be transparent about it. What happened? What put you in this position? And what have you done to try and and avoid the, what should be, to me, a last resort? The most drastic of of measures to try and save the company is, is obliterating your workforce the people that got you there in the first place. But you don't ever see it. It's terrible, man. I don't know. Mike Drucker, holy crap, dude, I'm a fan. Thank you very much. Great, great article, dude.